Welcome back for another book review. Today we are talking about this one. So this is Llewellyn's 2023 Sabbath Almanac. So this goes from Samhain 2022 until Maybon 2023. Much like The Witch's Companion, this has a number of authors that contribute to this book. So do keep that in mind. There's not like a specific person who is in charge of this project. So this book, the premise of it, I assume is going to be kind of the same year to year. This is my first time ever getting this book they come out every year. So basically it goes through the Sabbaths as you would expect. So it talks about what is the Sabbat, it has crafts, recipes, the astrology things going on throughout that season. So it talks about like the new moon, the full moon, when the astrological day of the lake holiday is versus like the calendar day, stuff like that. Now I will say I meh about this one and I think it might be personal preference but each section was repeated eight times by the same author. So whoever wrote the astrology did the astrology for the entire year. Whoever did the recipes did the entire year. I feel like it should have been an author per like section as in like the Samhain section is by one person, Maybon for another or so on and so forth or switch it up and have even more contributing authors instead of just the same ones each time because I didn't like a lot of the authors and the way they wrote for this. And again, a lot of this is personal preference. Like the recipes were not it for me. <laughs> like none of these sounded appeasing. You can definitely tell the type of home that like they, like they're cooking at home. And like, that's fine, but it's not for everybody. There wasn't a lot of like common like recipes and stuff. And I don't know if it's because they've done these for a while and like they're kind of running out of ideas. <laughs> like, I don't know. This is the first time I've picked this up. So I don't know if that's always been the case, but the recipes were like not it for me. I don't think there was a single one that I would try because they all just sounded strange. And a lot of them were always labeled like vegetarian, vegan, gluten-free. And like they were just random and not not something I would personally probably want to cook. Same with the crafts. I didn't like any of the crafting part of this. They were all like, okay, gotta grab your hot glue gun. And like, for me, I know a lot of adults are fine to use that, but when I go to craft, especially for my witchcraft, I am not going to go grab a glue gun. I'm not gonna go grab a glue stick. Not gonna do that. That to me, is more for like the parenting pagan books, not necessarily for adults. If I'm wanting to do a craft as a witch, as an adult, I'm gonna want something a little more complicated or, you know, just not everything glued. It just, it isn't it for me. And again, I think other people might like it, but for myself, that just kind of caught me up every time. And every time it felt like more of like the little kids crafts than like for an adult. Not to say that you couldn't do this for like your inner child healing, that's fine, but this is just, there was nothing there for me that I would want to do. So again, if it had been by somebody else, I feel like we would have had a better option of like, even if it's like, oh, well, this guy wrote these sections, I'm not having high expectations, but the other ones aren't by them, so we might have a chance, but no, it was the same. The astrology section guy, I think it was a guy, the astrology section person, also wasn't my favorite, kind of came off a little condescending and just their verbiage was just not, it, nothing jived with this book is pretty much what I'm trying to get at. It's not that the information was bad, I just didn't really like any of it. And like there's a couple sections here and there where they had mentioned like somewhat interesting things, but like it was so fleeting that I don't know that I would buy this. Like. I don't know. I think I've got to read at least one or two other ones just to see if they all go the same. I think we might have some at the library, so I will rent them. But like, I feel like the only people that would really probably want to get this is if you are still a beginner, because this would be great information if you're early on, because it gives you a lot of information on how to celebrate the wheel. But like, if you are advanced, like, Eh. <laughs> like there's nothing new and a couple of the reviews that I had found online kind of had the same sentiment of like not not it and like that you would get better information from other books that are just on the wheel of the year not trying to make it every year and so I don't know again if it's just because they're like running out of content of what to talk about because The Witch's Companion that book just is a variety of like articles basically 
whereas this is central. And I feel like there's so much potential with this, but it's ju it's just not it for me. So it's not that it's a bad book. I think it was just personality mesh didn't happen for this one and me, but I would love to hear what your thoughts are for this book. I'm glad I didn't buy it. I initially had planned to get this book, Kind of glad I didn't. I'm <laughs> kind of glad I can just rent it from the library. And like, that's one of the wonderful things. Definitely do try to check your local library. If you're like me, you do have to do a special search to find the information because it is not easily accessible. I've searched this title, it doesn't pull. I have to go by the publishing house in the advanced search to get this book to pull up. I don't know if that's a Utah thing. I don't know. It's just a pain in the butt. That said, I am curious if other people have read these, if they've read previous ones, I don't know, just, I would love to hear thoughts on these in the comments down below. Huge thank you to my patrons, I will have their names here on the screen if you'd like to support me and get access to exclusive content, it is patreon.com slash nightwillowcrafts. Make sure to like and subscribe, I post every single day, and until next time, thank you so much for watching, and blessed be.